All right, so you're still watching the special Eid edition of uh, Joy News Prime. It's time for Joy News Interactive, and uh, I have Jennifer Kwama joining me. Yes. I, almost, I almost said Aisha Ibrahim. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're this, really this, missing Aisha this, today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the back at the cellar to Aisha. Who's, who's yeah. who? I'm sure she's enjoying the whole day. Oh, All right. So what's coming? We're enjoying. So, you know, today, Joy News Interactive, and we're talking about National Maths and Science Quiz. By the way, Israel, revenge is sweet, right? I mean, oh, yeah. Yeah. Very, mm -hmm. very. Oh, yes, yes. So we're talking about that. We're talking about carcinogenic kakru. <laughs> And we're sending some love to all our Muslim brothers and sisters today. So you can join the conversation via our social media platforms. That's Join News on TV on Facebook and Join News on TV on Twitter. That's our Twitter handle. So let's get right into it. Today is Eid Il Fitr, and we're saying back at Asala to all our Muslim family um, around the world. They fasted for 30 days and also exercised, I mean, done some spiritual exercises as well. Now, today, they started the day with prayers before heading home to enjoy the traditional Sala meal of rice and meat. Israel, did you, did you get yours? Nobody brought me anything. Oh, that's, that's very sad. We, very, have, very we, have, we have to talk to Aisha about that. Exactly. Yeah, we have to. Aisha. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> breaking news, Aisha is bringing our salaries tomorrow. We wanted it today. It's you. Anyway, we went out. We went on the streets of Accra today to get some uh, Eid, uh, Eid Mubarak messages from you to your Muslim family and friends. <laughs> I believe that after a long fast, we need, they need to celebrate. So I wish them all the best today. They should celebrate their hearts out because they deserve it. I have that we thank God that the, 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 the fasting has ended. And today is their last day. They are celebrating their destiny. And so we wish, if God bless, maybe the next year, things will be better for them. Uh, maybe some people's... Maybe some people God will bless them, some people still God will make this And that's my message after. Oh, happy Salah, happy Idu. So, God bless them. I'm a Muslim myself. Oh, okay. So, I wish my brothers and sisters Eid Mubarak. And I pray that Allah will accept our fastings and then our prayers. I wish them happy by Kadi Salah. So, and I wish them long life. So, Barakada Salah, Israel. Yeah, Barakada Day. All right, and uh, there was a great report you did, by the way, of the, oh, thank uh, you. the Dead Devils. The display over there. It was Capri's, so Capri's exciting. Dead, dead Let's get on to Facebook. Uh, Barry Makuba just says, Happy Eid Mubarak to all the Muslim folks across uh, every nook and cranny of Ghana. May Allah hear and answer their many supplications. My warmest wish goes to our newest Chinese law ambassador, Penning Baumia. <laughs> God bless Ghana. <laughs> A judicious Adrerik says, Happy Eid Mubarak to all my Muslim brothers, more especially Haja Kande, Al Haji Lad, and all my Muslim uh, neighbors at Bwakwa Zongo. May Allah bless you all. I even enjoyed myself with uh, lots of food uh, more than them. Ismail Halil says, My first thanks goes to Almighty God Almighty for his blessings. Second goes to my family, especially my late mom, that may her soul find peace in the house of the Lord. Amin. And third goes to the staff of uh, Fuelmoa JHS in the Sicily West District of the Upper West Region. And finally, to all non Muslims around the globe, Eid. To all Muslims and non Muslims around the globe, Eid Mubarak. And uh, Nana Kumnipa Jr. says, I want to take this opportunity to wish our beloved Muslims, Muslim brothers and sisters, happy Eid Mubarak, especially Sister Fidaus at Abu Abu Kumasi. Uh, Ishmael says, happy Eid of Fitter May. Uh, May your long and dedicated fast be rewarded in consonance with the values that Islam stands for. And uh, Nasir also says, Happy Eid to all Muslims, especially to my mom. Hashtag Habiba. Yeah, you can see he's angling for some more of the Salah food. Oh, yeah. Anyway, a food scientist is warning against the use of decaying plantain to make kakru. Now, before you get shocked, this is the reason. Now, the reason is this. The spicy, delicious plantain balls fried in palm oil, which are best served hot with a handful of granites. But, George, uh, prof but Professor George Teria Odamting at the University of Ghana says rotten plantain contains a cancer-causing fungus. So, bearing that in mind, 
we are asking you this evening. Would you give up eating kakru? Seriously um, threatening because um, when I look at how much I love fried plantain, I really don't want to hear this. And I don't think my fellows out there will want to hear it. So please, if it's true, let's just curb this before it becomes um, an outbreak or something. I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. So, yeah. I will control it in the, before maybe the, the, the final, if they say we should not eat it, and everybody will have this. Uh. And be true because some people eat after the. They finish the planting, the right planting. They just put it in the this one, the mortar, then they stop and some of them they are gogomi inside, so it can cause cancer. I can't stop just like that. <laughs> oh gradually, gradually. I can't stop at once. Okay. Yeah. What I can say is we should be able to listen to uh, sometimes listen to our researchers. Because if you, if you said, if you are going to say what they are saying is not true, then we'll be getting it wrong. We should be careful about certain things. So when somebody has taken his time to research about certain things, we should take them seriously and take very good care of ourselves. I, I will, I will, because I love Kaklu, especially if it is Kiliwili, you see. I love it, but... I have to take a second look at what they are saying now. Uh, me, I don't feel anything bad about it. It's like I've been eating kakro for so many years, but I, can't, I don't feel anything bad about it. But as people said, kakro causes cancer. Like I don't, I don't understand it because I, I, I've never heard someone telling me that kakro causes cancer or those things. I've been, I can't stop eating it because people have been saying that it causes cancer. So I love my life. So I can't stop. Israel, no. would, would, would you? Oh, not you wouldn't no, even no, let me finish the sentence. No, 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 I'm not going to stop. Okay, and again, yes, probably something everybody else would want to hear. Mm -hmm. Now, this doctor we're talking about, he said, is the rotten plantain. Yes, it's the rotten one. It's the rotten one, but. I don't think that the kakro I buy is made from the rotten one. How do you know? And I'm not sure. Are you there when they're produced? Are you there when they're preparing it? I'm more are than convinced. Are you there when they're buying it? I'm more than convinced. <laughs> so all of you out there, the kakro you're eating is not made from rotting plantain. It's with, yeah, the soft one. <laughs> but not the rotten not the, one. Not the rotten one. So please, one. so long okay. as it's not the rotten one, please go ahead and eat. And we've been eating it all this while. We've been, and eating, we've been eating it for centuries. It's fine. Yeah, we've been eating yeah, it for centuries. Just, just fine. Yeah. Let's get on Facebook. Queen Lea Sante says, oh, I like a crow power, share. And serious. then Samuel Duse says, I'm just patiently waiting for the day scientists will openly declare that there are very high harmful microbes in the air, so people should stop breathing. And that, that day is coming very soon, very soon. We'll and there just are 25 there. replies yeah. in there. I'm sure a lot of, see, 206 reactions. Yeah, with smileys and they're hearts just, and likes. And, oh, my goodness. That. Okay, let's just, of course, we can go through all the uh, replies, many replies we have. So let's just... Um, See, A Abra Abraham agrees with us. He says, bro, we are all waiting for that day. Ah, we are even tired. We are tired. We are. Uh, that's good. That's a shock self. And uh, let's go on and on and on. All right, so let's move on to the next year. So let's move on. Uh, Nana Owusua says... Uh, why do I have the feeling that uh, the, the doctor doesn't like a crow, but that's what his household likes? So he wants them to stop eating it. Doctor, thank you, sir. But please, as stubborn as some of us are, let's enjoy our kakro in peace. Unyami Shayeng. Indeed. Let, let's move on. There's one other comment there that has 21 replies that we have. Uh, just okay, so uh, Benjamin, da Benjamin, Benjamin Danso says after this cancer causing fungus has been through this hot oil in the preparation of this kakro, does it still survive in the rotten plantain? In so a very good question. 76 Danso. reactions, it's a question 21 we should, we should replies. Put, we should put to the doctor, in uh, professor, professor, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Israel, I think you need to do a one on one, -on -one with him. It's very important. I can see there's something very close to your heart, <laughs> but but let's see. Uh, Wow. Uh, Sam, no. Samuel Lamte says, fungi, fungi produce toxic uh, metabolites. metabolites known as mycotoxins. These, okay. It's a, it's it's a whole thesis. lecture. It's a whole, okay, <laughs> please, it's meant for the professor. Okay, let, let's, just, let's just move on. Uh, Junior says, Prof, kindly save your thoughts. 
Kakro has been in existence since time immemorial, no cancer. Ask your junk foods that you brought from the West, which has been causing cancer, diabetes, hypertension, etc. Okay. Then there's Moses Awuni to say the underlying word is decaying plantain. So don't misunderstand him. Exactly. Decaying, <laughs> rotting plantain that is not used by the woman who prepares the kakru for Israel. So after the show, come and, I mean, drop me a, a line on our Facebook page. I will, I will let you know where Israel buys his. That's the safe one. Now, Congratulations, Accra Academy. You've seen your great rivals crash and burn at the critical stage. Well, we're not seeking to, you know, rejoice oh, of course over not. the demise of uh, somebody oh, else, of over not. the loss of somebody no. else. So it's, mm. it's fine. I mean, yeah. they lost, we say, um, yeah. yeah, we're commiserate with them. You're commiserating. Yeah. On Facebook, Except that yeah. um, mm. there's, a, there's a saying, yes, that, uh, yeah. Exactly. It's a song like that. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but, but, but on Facebook, people have not been much less uh, magnanimous than, than you about this. But this year, National Maths and Science Quiz, all the old rivalries have come into play. Oh, yeah. Some giants have gone through, some have been slain. Let's take a recap of what's been happening so far. Unfortunately, the trophy is not yours this year. Catch us in your high technical school. Congratulations on winning the contest. Accra Academy has 26 points. Presbyterian Boys Senior High School Legon has 45 points. West Lagos High School, Katia. Thank you for being here. Best wishes to you. Thank you for being here and for giving us a good contest. All the best. Kumase High School, congratulations on winning the contest. At the end of the contest, here are the final scores. Ghana National College has 27 points. University Practice Senior High School has 35 points. The Saddle College has 36 points. <laughs> so, the question we asked was, can Adisadel retain it for the second consecutive year? And when are we going to get a girls' school winning it? George Labby <laughs> says the Premier guys are very comfortable, composed, and answer the questions boldly. And when their contest is over, you could see that they win by a huge margin as compared to Adisadel College. Prempe will win this contest because they are on top of the other schools. Daniel Dixon says, looking at the performance of Adisco at the semis, I think it will be difficult, very difficult for them to retain the trophy. But it's possible. It is difficult to tell why the girls' schools are yet to win the ultimate trophy. But the irony is that the girls' schools mostly beat the mixed and the boys' schools uh, in Wasi. And Desmond Oakley says, we are... Yet, because God, in his own wisdom, placed man overall, including, <laughs> and he said, I can't retain it, cry. Anyway. Mm. Yes. Uh, anyway, Desmond, I'm not going to respond to that. Chrissy Boating says, how things are going, it's possible the Abradzi family will retain the trophy. The Zebra boys are indeed making history. Congratulations in advance. Better luck next time, GSTS. For Prempe, you can't beat GSTS and afford to lose the trophy. You are not... <laughs> <clears throat> you are not Arsenal FC. And Ishmael Halil says, oh, but this is this is a bit harsh. Today's girls are only champions in bed, but brainless in academics. Oh, no. Kudos to all girls participating in the National Maths Quiz. I love them all. Ishmael, that's really, really, really harsh. I mean, especially since we're talking about National Science Too and Maths Too low. Quiz. We're, not, we're not. I mean, especially when you've actually gone on to congratulate the girls participating mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the National Maths and Science Quiz. All right. That's it. Oh, yeah. Uh, photo of the day. Yes. <laughs> this is it. So, as this uh, car on top of somebody's roof, I really doubt that it's actually a car on somebody's hey, roof. Hey, it's a car. I says, I'm not coming down until next week. You guys have a nice eat. That's the end. Because if he comes down, he knows he Israel, will that's our, our salam. <laughs> that's our salad dinner. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, that's been Joy News Interactive this evening. Thanks for having me, Israel. I'm yeah, Jennifer Kwamwa. Yeah. yeah, thank you too. Thank you.